Another bathroom break. I'm done. First one of the day. Oh, yeah, in the park. <laughs> they just save up, you know. <laughs> Play past 10. Yeah. So we didn't have a rope drop this this morning, it was before 5 o'clock in the morning. So a huge clap of thunder. Um, we both woke up and we looked out the window and it was absolutely bouncing down. And we checked every, no, I checked every 10 15 minutes after that. And it just kept on raining and raining and raining. So it's very okay. Yeah, there's no much point in doing that. It's absolutely soaked. I thought maybe I'd be like that all day. I think it will be raining on and off all day. It should be okay. Two hours for anything. I know. It's unbelievable because we're letting the 10 folk through at a time in the normal line. Maybe about 20 or 30 folk through in the lightning lane. I know you disagree with me slightly on this, but I think it's a necessity to have Genie Plus. I don't think it's. I disagree with you. I just think it's. When you're paying. It's over a hundred dollars a day mm -hmm. for these tickets. And then up and screw you for another fifteen dollars a day. Oh that's definitely what it feels like. But to be able to get on anything, I noticed today that Disney have issued like a statement. Somebody retweeted it earlier about that with Genie Plus and Lightning Lanes, people can expect to get on at least two to three rides. And somebody said that's because they're covering their bases because people are expecting to be able to get on a lot more. We for the day we done it we found it beneficial. But it, when you do do it, people are walking on to rides. Arts half the day that time. Yeah. Uh -huh. we for breakfast at Steakhouse 71 mm -hmm. and we went to Anna's for, for mm -hmm. dinner. So the benefit of it was that it might not have been the top attraction that you wanted to do, but you were constantly doing something. So you could queue for the two hours for the ride that you wanted. And then when you come off, lightning lane, whatever was available, if there was something that was there that you wanted to do. 
because that's a couple of times we've seen it that lightning lanes are walk-ons onto these rides. Going home, day, Steve. Yep. Jeff met up with our friend Jeff. But he's going to die. Uh -huh. Who came across from his work. He was going to meet us at Hollywood Studios, but uh, by that point we're on our way back here because we needed to get lunch. Is there anything you would have changed? Possibly. Maybe do three days at Universal mm -hmm. rather than just the two. Well, we may have just got the, you know, the, the lift across rather than staying in it. How did you know that's what I was going to say? Does that mean we get to hang for the Hard Rock Hotel rather than one? Possibly. Uh, Worth it. Maybe look more down the lightning line. Yeah. Put it that way. Uh, it should be our one tower of terror today and it was like two hours waiting. And it was like 10 volt for the normal line. About like 20 or 30 volt. Came through for the lightning line. And it was near enough a walk on for them. Just the amount of volt like through the lightning line. So we might look into that a little bit more. I know we did it one day. But... I don't think it was worth it for today because we're only there half a day and if you play it right you probably do about eight different rides through the day as well as obviously two of your normal rides but I think that's maybe probably the only thing I would change in the holiday apart from maybe getting you a new CD. She's looking shocked but that's all she's wanted on this holiday. Yeah but he waits hold on, hold on. He waits until the day we're leaving before he says it. <laughs> Typical. Um, Favourite moment? Uh, I liked the Hannah. I did like the Lost Coaster. The Lost Coaster on the front row was absolutely amazing. You felt as if you were never in your seat. And you did feel as if several times as if you were going to come right out and go <laughs> Either fly through the air or jump into the warm water, depending on where it was actually going. But no, that was fantastic. Uh, it's probably the best ride here, and that's overtaken from the tower. Oh which my I really, god! Really loved, and Forbidden Journey, which I think, to a point, you are getting a wee bit dated now. I think you really have to be updated, you know, to keep up with these hold things. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You. Nearly threw your toys out the pram when they spoke about updating Tower of Terror. You well, had a proper pissy fit. I know, because we're doing what going to do it for Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy, which I don't think is a fit for Hollywood Studios, but I do think it is getting a bit dated now in relation to the ride. And it's been there since 1994. Oh, you better make sure that date's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Because I was there the first week that I was there. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, but I think it's time for an upgrade of some sort. But again, it's an iconic building and that's the, the icon of the park. So they're going to have to do something along with inside there. And whether it's something to do with lifts or elevators or something totally different, I don't know. But they're going to have to think of something. Least favourite moment? Or thing? I don't know. Uh, I can't really think of least favourite moment just now. Yeah, I'll be able to come back to me in that one. Don't worry, I will. <laughs> what was your funniest moment of the holiday? <laughs> can you say that on camera? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it did involve me. It did involve Steve and it's the funniest thing I've ever had. I can't be said on camera. You better drink up, sweetie, because we've got another four bottles of Gatorade to get through before we can face the gate. No, it's a chance! I'm still trying to drink the Coca Cola. Yeah, cool. I know. <laughs> Aye, and you're not going to be able to drink the bus? No, I don't. We're sitting on the floor of our land airport. I know. So, good We do crisps. We do Katie style crisps. The chances are that that will be very hot. Yeah, but your definition of hot is totally different from everybody else's. Skittles. 
Did you know you used to get that at Club Cool? At one point? I think it could. Uh, I don't know what country it was from though. No, but I think I remember it being yeah. there. Because we found it in the UK one of the days and remember it was like, we got that, you could get that at Club Cool. Yeah. Uh, I just freeze it a wee bit and turn it into a dough whip. Not quite. Not quite. Uh, so I have Jamin to take. Because I'm not doing a repeat performance of the flight in but Dramamine makes me tired so I'm waiting till we get on the flight before I take it In fact, I wait till we actually take off before you take it because yeah. the last time we got on the flight we yeah. still get taken off And then we get taken back off and take back to security, <laughs> whole big drama um, So I'll wait until the flight takes off and then I'll take it because I've experienced taking something like this before and then the flight been delayed and having to stay awake for 5 hours in the airport we should have about another 15 minutes before we board. Uh, something like that. Uh, I've also got trail mix, which I think I said before. <laughs> Stephen buys trail mix from Disney. It was the last time it put me to sleep. And if I knew a peanut help? could do that. Uh, I don't know if it helped me to sleep. It definitely helped me with the uh, transition back to the jet lag. I don't understand how though. No. I don't know if it's the same stuff. I'll I'll try it. It is. We had it by accident last time. We had to go on the dining plan last time we were here and with lots of snack credits left and we used them for our candy in the gift shop and we just happened to have a bag of that in Stephen's hand luggage. And of course you can't take anything back into the UK, you've got to eat it all on the flight. So that was how we get even. But he's convinced it helped him with the jet lag situation, yep. so we're trying it again. I have in doubt, you know, just try it, yeah. see if it works. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I'll know that I don't have to get it next time. I'll just have to try something else. Mm -hmm. And more bacardi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, iPad down. iPad down. We're sitting in front of Bahama Bees, and all we can hear is the hostess screaming people's names every couple of minutes for their reservations. But the chances are they've probably been away in a flight because it's probably taking that long for them to come through. Yeah, it was. I am so sore that sitting on this floor is not helping. So in that situation. <laughs> Travel and boring isn't it? Hmm? Travel and boring. Probably this bit. Aye, the travel part of it. Hey. How's your burger, Steve? Mm -hmm. <laughs> big burger, big juice. Nice. Yeah. So we moved down to the gate for Gordon and while we were sitting there they came up and said that the flight was delayed by an hour. So we decided to go to Burger King. So here we are, sitting in Burger King with workers and look at the size of these. Look, I mean, is that the biggest juice you've ever seen in your life? Yeah. So we're just having burgers, waiting. We've got another yeah, 20 minutes until the new boarding time, so we'll see what happens then. It's going to be a lot better doing it that than just sitting down at the gate, just doing nothing. Plus, and we could eat them. Yeah, well, it depends on how long it takes the flight to actually get something to eat. You could be hungry. Whereas just now, we'll just be talking it back up <laughs> when the dinner comes in. Yeah. Hey, so, hope. But another example of why I, I never took my jam with me. We've been here before. Anyway, walkers all around. I love Burger King fries, do you know that? Well, you fries as well. Yeah, uh-huh. Do you like fries? <laughs> no, not always. Stop this happening in the future. All that being said, uh, we will speed the flight plan up and do our absolute best to make it as much time as possible, but uh, we will be delayed into Manchester, I'm afraid, if you can make any phone calls and let anybody know that.
we're home. So the flight was a bit sketchy. Um, there was a fair amount of turbulence. However, because I had taken my Dramamine, I just decided to keep my eyes shut through all the turbulence and pretend my body was sleeping and that seemed to work. So as you saw, Stephen and I were in separate seats. None of the monitors on our seats were working at all, so Stephen moved over into the middle seats, which is the seats we were actually supposed to be in in the first place. It didn't really bother me because I had taken the Dramamine, so I was going to be drowsy anyway. So I just wanted to sleep really, I was just wanted to try and get some sleep. So what it meant was that each of us could kind of stretch our legs out a wee bit, which was good. Landed in Manchester, went and got the bus to the drop and go section for the picked up the car. And then drove the three and a half hours from Manchester to Glasgow and I'm not going to lie to you, it's probably one of the most dangerous journeys we've ever taken between us. We're so tired that we had to keep stopping every service station, we had to stretch our legs, get some fresh air, get some coffee, switch over and rotate who was driving. Probably not the safest thing to do but it'll definitely make me reconsider flying from Manchester again just because of the drive back. And I don't know how feasible it would be for us to come off of Man a flight from Manchester and stay uh, somewhere in about Manchester Airport for the night, given that the flight came in at 12 o'clock. Um, so the flight was delayed, it was delayed by an hour initially, boarding then started an hour after the delayed departure time. And the Virgin crew were lovely, but they did say the delay was been caused because Orlando Airport didn't have enough staff to be able to turn around the aircraft on time. Anyway, we're home after an amazing trip. Um, I'm sorry for our first vlogs, a few of them are pretty sketchy. Maybe we'll get better at this, maybe we won't. Um, but thanks if you've stayed for the whole series, thanks for sticking along with us. And if you want to see what our next adventures are going to be then Subscribe, I guess. Click the subscribe button. Make sure you turn on the notification bell. Please give the videos a thumbs up. Please comment below. Anybody wants to know anything, let us know. We'll see you soon. Bye.